solve. I need to solve the following quadratic equation. Now notice that it doesn't give you the instructions on what method to use. So you can try factoring, we can try completing the square, or using the quadratic formula. Now by looking at my answers, it, this cannot be factored. Otherwise they'll give you nice little answers like five or one half. But whenever you have such complex answers, we know that we can't factor it. We can try completing the square, but because there's a linear coefficient of 3, if you have a linear coefficient, you can't complete the square. Now, if there was no 3 here, and since there's a 2 in here that's even, then we will be able to complete the square. But since we have a 3 as a linear coefficient, we cannot complete the square. So we are forced to use the quadratic formula. So let's go through the process. x equals opposite b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. Perfect. This will be the value of a, the value of b, and the value of c. Let's see. x equals opposite b. So I said 2, so this will be a negative 2 plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a, this is a 3. And let's say b squared minus 4ac. We're going to place the b is 2, the a is 3, and the c is also 3. Simplify this, gives us a 4 minus 12 times 3, 4 minus 36. This will give us a negative 32. Now, I have a negative inside the square root. First, I'm going to check and see if I did everything correctly. Let's see. Multiply. That is a negative 36. That is, does give me negative 32. I have a negative inside the square root, so I know my answer should have an i. So I know the answer can be a, not b, because it doesn't have an imaginary, and not c. But now I'm going to simplify it out. I need to simplify the square root of 32 as 16 times 2, that'll be 8 times 2, that gives me a 4 times 2, this will give me 2 and 2, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This will give me a 2 outside, another 2, so you have 2 times 2. Inside, I have a square root of 2, so that gives me a 4 square root of 2. 4 times 4 is 16, times 2 is 32, that matches. And don't forget your i, because you had imaginary negative. Now some of you guys will say, no, Mr. Just, can I just, instead of the, don't go through a process, can I, I just know that it's 16 times square root of 2, this will be 4 square root of 2. Yeah, that'll be much faster, and you get the same answer. But now I'm going to simplify, x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus, the square root of Negative 32 is 4i, the square of 2, divided by 6. I must separate my fractions. x is equal to negative 2 over 6, plus or minus 4i, square of 2, over 6. I must reduce my numbers. So it gives me negative 1 third. And it's negative, so I know my answer will be d. Correct? And I'm going to reduce my fraction, so it gives me plus or minus 2 over 3i square of 2. And that's how they get the full simplified answer. So remember, as soon as you find your discriminant, you know it's negative, so cancel two of the answers. Now, if you simplify your first fraction, you automatically should be able to find the correct answer. If not, just continue simplifying the right-hand side, and that should match.